to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm always looking for interesting things happening in Jerusalem and especially in the realm of food and drink. So recently I was uh, coming back from Tel Aviv and I spotted an interesting site on Agrippa Street, which for those not familiar with Jerusalem is one of the main streets in the city center running parallel to the world famous Shukumane Huda. And uh, the site of a distilling still was unmistakable because I visited a fascinating whiskey distillery in Ireland in the summer. This place is called Thinker's Distillery. They've been open for business for approximately one year. They're doing gins, they're doing vodka, they're doing whiskey, and it's all being distilled as you can see in the backdrop here right here in Jerusalem. I came in today to speak firstly try out their products I'm trying I've just tried their gin and tonic I've never had a gin and tonic that I didn't like but this was particularly enjoyable. Craft gin is of course a very very rising scene but I came here to speak to Michael uh, Ginosar who's the chief operating officer and ask him what they decided to set up a gin distillery and a distillery in Israel, which is, of course, a land better known for its wine than for its spirits. So I'm here uh, joined by Michael uh, Ginosar, who is the chief operating officer of the distillery. Michael, thanks for uh, joining me to talk about spirits in Israel. So firstly, starting with basics, how long has this distillery been in operation? So we officially got our licenses in March of 2020. Uh, but since COVID hit, then we were kind of waiting for the right time to launch. So we officially launched the place in uh, January of 21. So a year ago. So um, I was looking at your website and you have an interesting mix of products. I tried your gin, which was great. I know you guys also do a vodka and you do a whiskey. So how did you decide on this? And is, are you focused in more one spirit over the other or equally across these categories? Our, our thought here in Thinkers is that Israel is not your typical place to set up a distillery. We don't have a lot of water. We don't have a lot of grains. What we, we do have here is a lot of technology. So that kind of that thinking and that kind of idea helped us set up that motion of let's let's set up a distillery that can do basically everything. It can, do, it can do vodka. It can do gin. It can do whiskey. And and there's a lot of science into it. There's a lot of technology into it. But the basis of it is all the same for all the different spirits. So it's just a matter of how do we do the best possible spirits using all the all the elements and all the technology that we can have that we use. And you have here in the uh, in in your location, which is located on Agrippa Street, this massive, massive wall full of barrels, which is great. And I couldn't help but notice uh, I'm a huge fan of the Hebrew calendar. So you have it stamped Jerusalem, Israel, 2018, 5778. So Michael, uh, we have here before us four different types of, uh, two different types of gin. There is a vodka and there is a bourbon whiskey. Um, tell, tell me what are the differences between the gin and what are these? Tell us a bit about your product line. Two types of gin. One's going to be a, a London dry style gin, or we call it Jerusalem dry, and while the other one's going to be a more of a New World gin, and it's called Israeli Sunset. So different botanicals, kind of different purposes for the gin. One's going to be better for cocktails, uh, such as uh, more more of your classic cocktails, and the the Israeli Sunset, the New World gin, is kind of be more of a floral, aromatic kind of gin, better for gin and tonics, perhaps. Uh, the vodka is a one liter bottle, and it's it's called 4060, and it's 4060 because it's 40% alcohol, obviously, and 60% water. And the water is important because we produce our own water here at the distillery. We're using Israeli technology to make our own water, and it basically helps us preserve the original flavors of the raw material, and it really makes a better vodka. We end up with our whiskey, a bourbon, which is just introduced this week. It's uh, three, and a half, eight, three and a half years aged in, in American oak barrels here in Israel. Everything was, um, was aged here and barreled here and, uh, and bottled here. And... We love it. Um, you mentioned botanicals. So for a someone like me who's more a gin consumer than a gin connoisseur, the only thing I know about gin is that it's made from juniper berries. So I presume there's other botanicals involved, and, and what are those? So every gin in the world has to have juniper inside in order for it to be known as gin. And from there on, you could use whatever botanicals you want, essentially. We are, from our, our, our thought is not to go crazy in the number of botanicals. We want the right number of botanicals to give you like the right taste. Um, the Jerusalem Dry is going to be really centered on juniper, citrus, lemon peel, uh, grape, grapefruit, and going to be very, very right down the middle, kind of stronger on alcohol content, but also uh, uh, drier. When the and it is the Israeli sunset has two uh, major botanicals that really affect the flavor. It's rose petals and strawberries. 
And very, those, very, very clever. The rose petals, of course, classic Middle Eastern touch. Yeah, yeah well, you know, it's not, it's, it's, just, it's a matter of using the best possible botanicals from wherever they may come. If they're the best here in Israel, I'll use them for, for yeah. we, we actually designed the, the Israeli scent as kind of rosé, meaning kind of a really kind of light, fun kind of drink, um, and, and the rose petals and strawberries really fit into it. And, I mean, Israel, for, for those who sort of think about Israel and alcohol, probably think wine, right? Israel is known as a wine country, especially in the last few decades, as a new terroir. So the whole concept of Israeli spirits, I, I, I would say to people, is kind of a bit more surprising. So how far do you think the spirit world in Israel is at the moment, especially versus Israeli craft beer, which in my observation is sort of quite commonplace or really, really taking off for the last number of years? Well, that's exactly true. I mean, you're looking at wineries, you probably have more than 500 wineries in Israel, and, you know, Israeli wine across the world is regarded and renowned and is doing a great job. Breweries, like you said, probably more, more than 100 or 120 breweries and just getting, adding up. Spirits is still, you know, distilleries are, it's in the beginning. There's about 10 distilleries in Israel. Some of them do whiskeys. Are you the only distillery here in Jerusalem? Yes. In Jerusalem, in the city, definitely we're the only distillery. And I think it's really kind of a beginning of an industry. Everyone's kind of still figuring out what they want to do, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of good vibes, there's a lot of good energy, and people are trying to do interesting stuff. Um, but we're seeing what, what the wines and beer were, were able to achieve, and for sure we could achieve the same with spirits. We've, I've been in your uh, the location for about 40 minutes and we've been trying to start shooting this and a whole plethora of people coming in. We have some tourists, some locals. You have a lovely uh, stockroom over there with lots of pallets. So it looks like a lot of this product's going out the door. Who is buying your, um, can I use the word small batch, relatively small batch? Well, for now, for now I'll give you the small <laughs> batch because it's just the beginning. Um, Right. Here in Agrippas, we have a visitor center. We do tours during the day. Uh, everything is uh, uh, pre-ordered, pre-booked in advance. And we've got all kinds of people coming through. It's going to can be people from the bar scene. It could be people that are coming on a, on a, on a company uh, outing. It could be just people who want to just go out and, and experience something new. Um, so we sell through our visitor center and, and, and the store here, but we are also selling through our distributor all over Israel. We're in stores, in bars, in restaurants, in hotels. We're in about 400 different retail, uh, retail places. El Al, we're also selling on El Al flights. Right. And, and this year we're going to start exporting for the first time. It's going to be into the U.S. market. And from there on, we're going to be looking for more export markets. So this visitor center is on Agripas, but once you see that kind of classic copper, it's hard to miss it. Um, you guys do a number of tours. Uh, so what kind of tours do you offer? Any, any fun loving, uh, spirits, got, uh, people are invited. Um, we do all kinds of tours, more beginner stuff and then more of advanced as well. The idea is really to showcase what, what the alcohol world looks like, the spirits world, what we do different, how do our, how does our technology come into place, the stuff that we're producing here. So it's a tour that's very, um, uh, there's a lot of explanation, explaining going on, uh, tastings, of course, of the different spirits that we, that we're making, different cocktails, how we could use the spirits in the different ways. And, and we see that, that there's a wide range of, of people that are interested in this kind of experience from, they could, Israel, they could be tourists, they could be really from all over the place. Everything goes through our website. You, you pick the day you want to come in, the time, the type of tour, or, you know, call us. We're always going to be here. And of course, we're in Jerusalem, so speaking about kosher, I presume all the products are certified kosher. Everything's certified kosher. Um, the place itself is certified kosher. We do um, we don't we we don't have a kitchen here, but we do serve food here through the different restaurants for the shuk. Mm -hmm. So if people want to combine food with it, you know, we're we're happy to to, to give that option. Cool. And as I mentioned, for those who don't know Jerusalem, you guys are located okay literally one minute from the shuk, so you can come here for a drink or a pre-drink and a tour and then go get some amazing food as well. Um, so you mentioned that this whiskeys you've just launched it a couple of weeks ago and you're beginning to export to the US. Uh, what else are you guys expecting in 2023? So we're going to be adding uh, a new gin. So we've got two. There's going to be a third gin. Uh, there's going to be another type of vodka. So it's going to be actually probably an overproof vodka. So higher on alcohol. Uh, what, 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 what percentage is the big question? Uh, 52. 52% 52 oh, yeah, alcohol. 52 is, uh, it's good. It is very, very strong, but uh, extremely smooth. There's something to look forward. Um, and there's, there's rum in the making, in the, in the works, actually. We're really looking into rum. 
And uh, that's like in the next year and a half, that's, that's the three major things, the three major products that we're going to be working. For those crazy people who are interested in the world of spirits past 52% uh, absence, any plans for stuff like that? Uh, no, that's not, I, I, it's not in our plans. I, I, I don't know what will happen, but um, that's, le- that's less of our, of our, you know, what we're looking for. Michael, thanks so much um, for the info I mentioned. You guys can be found on thinkersdistillery.com. That's where people can buy the products. That's where people can book the tours. Uh, anywhere else? Different stores all over the country. Just uh, look us up on the web, on the social media. You'll find a lot of outlets. Well, are you are you in duty free at the airport? We're in duty free, but we are on LL flights. Okay. <laughs> a little different, but uh, but it, if you make it to the airport, you're probably going to find us. Cool. Thanks so much, Michael. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. If you are interested in great spirits including gin and you're visiting Jerusalem, I definitely recommend checking out this place. It's located on 88 on Agrippa Street. They also have a website which is thinkersdistillery.com and tours can be arranged and you can also purchase some of their great products. Thanks for watching.